Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and in this week's episode, we're gonna change out some of these really harsh dome lights for some 12 volt RV pendant lights over our kitchen and our dining table. So stay tuned. So we're gonna walk you through this process step by step. It is surprisingly easy to swap out 12 volt light fixtures in your RV. However, as always, we're gonna throw a caveat out there. If you do not feel comfortable doing this work, hire a professional. Uh, there is always a risk of injury when you're working with electricity. However, when you're working with 12 volt, it's extremely low voltage. So the risk is much lower than if you were working with 120 or 240 volt systems. Let me show you first what we're working with. Just like most RVs these days, our fifth wheel ceiling is lined with these inexpensive bright white LED dome lights that actually put off a rather harsh light. Our plan is to replace the two that are over the kitchen sink island. And these two over here above our dining table with these glass pendant lights that we picked up online. Unfortunately, the seller didn't adequately protect the lights and two of the four arrived broken. Patricia can be pretty amazing, however. The seller immediately made good and shipped out two replacement lights. But we're anxious to get these installed and see how they look. For a while, Patricia made a hobby of doing mosaic, so she pulled out her mosaic glue and set about reconstructing Humpty Dumpty. It was quite the jigsaw puzzle, but she somehow managed to pull it all together. Zoe is clearly far more patient than I am. All right, so now the first step is to remove these. And I gotta tell you, these things are tight. Uh, they are so tight that I wasn't convinced that twisting them was in fact the way to get them off. So I went online and checked with some folks and sure enough, you gotta give them a quarter twist counterclockwise and then the three tabs that are holding these covers on release all right we got that one off and now it's just a matter of two screws that are holding this thing in of course i got the wrong bit Now, just pull it down and there are just some cap and crimp sleeves that are holding these things to the 12 volt system. Now you do have to keep in mind that unlike incandescent lights, LED lights are sensitive to polarization. So you have to make sure the positive is to the positive and the negative is to the negative. You can't just swap the two. Gotta use some needle nose pliers to pull these out of there. Because that hole's not very large. There we go, we got one. And you can see these are the crimp sleeve connectors I was talking about. We'll end up clipping that off. 
to remove the old light. There's all kinds of other wiring in here. There we go. There's the other one. Oh. This can be a devil to get through these little holes. There we go. All right. So basically all we're doing is disconnecting these two and connecting the two wires, positive and negative, from the new pendant lamps. All right. So we'll cut off the old lamp. And we will cut the wires going into this crimp connector. Oh, man. I have a rather dull set of diagonals here. And these are rather heavy gauge wires. Oh. There we go. And one more. There it goes. So, take this and strip about a half an inch of bare wire. Off each of these leads. This is why I'm not an electrician. There we go. Rather convenient. The sink is right there to drop all my debris in. Seems to be about 14 gauge. Let's strip this one. Okay. Now, let's grab our light fixture. These are already pre-stripped. So I'll just kind of twist these together. Hold that. Grab a new crimp sleeve connector. Make sure that's as far into that crimp sleeve connector as you can get it. Make sure it's in there real good. And we'll crimp it really well. Go a little further back to make sure we have a good crimp. Give that a good solid squeeze. And now gently pull on each wire. Yeah, we got a good crimp there. And we're going to do the same thing with the other lead. Okay, now that I've done the second set of wires, I'm just gonna tuck everything back up in where it came from. Now these particular lamps use a little mounting bracket that we're going to just use the previous lamp screws and put right here. So we'll get that drilled in. Okay, there's one. Now, got two little cap screws that go over those studs once we put the lamp base up against the ceiling. There we go. 
And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take later on, not in this video, but I'm going to take some wood putty that's of a similar shade. If not, I'll just paint it. But to fill those previous lamps holes, which are wider than the base here. I'll tighten these up with a little crescent wrench. Okay, so let's go grab the lampshade. All right, now we'll just get the glass lampshade up there, and this particular lamp will be done. And we can move on to the other three. It just screws on. Okay. That's pretty solid. Now, let's go hit the light switch and check our handiwork. See how this came out. And voila. Oh yeah. So, now it's set about getting the other three done. And we'll take a look at the finished product. So there's the finished product. And uh, quite frankly, well, we're pretty pleased by this. I've got all the lights on because I'm filming, but when you turn the overheads off, it makes a real nice ambiance. So just in case this has inspired you to swap out some of the 12 volt light fixtures in your RV, there are plenty of choices out there on the internet. You can Google around, check eTrailer.com, check Amazon. We got these from Johnson Surplus in Michigan for $15 per pair on these pendant lights. Now, admittedly, the shipping was slightly more than the lights themselves. Even so, with the shipping, it still turned out to be a great deal compared to some of the other options out there. If you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up down below. Also down below, you'll find our comment section. We always love to hear from you after each episode which we air here at Grand Adventure every Wednesday evening. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time. Go smash that little red subscribe button, the one right down there in the lower right corner of your screen, and ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on each and every Grand Adventure. We'd also be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a Grand Adventure. We'll see you then.